Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Goldie and this is the Lazy Ballerina Club. And in today's video, I am going to be reacting to one of my oldest ballet videos. It is currently the middle of the afternoon in Boston, but it actually looks like it's 8 p.m. And this is the only day I can film. So we're busting out the ring light. I have a whole setup. I hate filming with weird lighting like this. So I apologize. I am like channeling my inner like beauty guru with my ring light. Also, I randomly decided to curl my hair for the first time since high school. I don't know, something's in the air today. It's gonna be an interesting time, but without further ado, let's get into today's video. The video that I'm reacting to today is actually my Washington School of Ballet end of the year performance. Don Q is one of those ballets that I've always had on my bucket list. I feel like a key tree. I mean, a rose in my hair, a fan. During my variation, it really doesn't get any better than this. I was honored, I was excited, I was nervous, and I was probably like not very qualified. I guess we'll just like press play. <laughs> Let me give you a little back. Story. I had the worst chin splints of all time during this moment in my life. I don't know what was happening. It felt like I had needles in my shins. Never struggled with shin splints and since then I really hadn't struggled with shin splints. Just had to let you know what was going through my brain during this moment in my life. Also, I don't consider myself a very nervous person. I never really get stage fright. I love a good performance. But before I performed this paw variation and coda, it was the most nervous that I've ever been in my life for anything. I don't know what was going on and the fact that I was nervous was making me nervous and it just like made it worse and worse and worse. It wasn't like I was like easy breezy beautiful cover girl out there. I was really shaking in my boots. But let's keep going because we've literally made it 10 seconds. Oh my God. arms, that passe. My arms literally looked like I was flopping in the wind and my passe was so low that it looked like a coupe around my ankles. Let's continue. Oh God. I guess I didn't figure out my turnout yet. Think of the heel, heel on top. Always think of knee down, heel on top. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the drama. I literally went, oh, I'm here in my Susu fifth, I made it. Okay, that was a nice leg. Up and over, ponche. That's not bad. Let's keep going before I talk too much. Okay, leg. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <sighs> I do know my strengths and I always love a good leg up. I love a good ponche. That was gorge. That was not too bad. And then it completely fell apart in that little attitude turn that I had to do, but that's okay. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, I remember almost falling out of that attitude promenade and getting a cold sweat. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we made it out alive. Heel forward. That 
That was an air bite. <laughs> like 101 ballet, like trying to keep your leg at the same height and not let it like rebound like that. My leg literally went from 90 degrees to 45 degrees into a ponche. Let's try this again. Better. Oh, I take that back. I spoke too soon. Oh, I said shoulder. I was flirting with the audience. I was really giving it to you. Okay, Jason. Yeah, that was good. Okay, let's get this pirouette. Let's just pretend that we didn't all just see that sickled foot close in Susu. We didn't see it. I didn't see it. Did you see it? Pretty. Okay, this was a stressful moment. This was a stressful moment. Not my best. Will I balance? Oh, no. Okay, home stretch, girl. Yep, okay. <sighs> okay, we're almost there. God. <laughs> I can't with that moment. I can't with that moment. Sometimes I got up in the air and sometimes I didn't get up in the air and he would drop me down and I would either crash to the floor or I would not crash to the floor. It was always very exciting. Did I just break my neck doing that little head nod? Probably. Did I just give myself whiplash? Yes. Of course, the male variation is about 30 seconds, so I have to catch my breath from that whole long paw. I have to shake out my shin splints that were like killing me at that point, get my fan, take a breath, and go straight into my variation, which goes straight into the coda. So at this point, I was kind of relieved that the paw was over, but I also just like went into a panic because I had so much left to do. When you are used to doing a whole paw variation in Coda, you know how to save your stamina, you know when to push and when not to push, and you know how to breathe during stressful times, but I was a sweet little 18 year old just giving everything on that dance floor, and at this moment when the male variation was over, that's kind of when I got a cold sweat because I was just thinking, holy shit, I am so tired right now. <laughs> Spicy! Okay, accent on the music. Not my best side, but that's okay. Let's do it again! If you watch my YGP survival guide video, I talk about my experience competing at YGP and this was my first variation I ever did. Go watch that video because it's a really good story time and I completely forget my variation on stage while competing at YGP, but I hope I redeemed myself in this variation compared to my YGP variation.
I really just crawled up into that attitude turn, didn't I? But how about those shoulders? Oh my gosh, I was giving you everything. There's that low blood thing again. Okay, before we get into the hops, <laughs> let's talk about a couple of things. At this point, my shin splints were so terrible that I really thought that I would look down and blood would be oozing out of them or like my tendon was popping out of my tights. It felt like from my knee down, someone set them on fire. So the last thing that would make shin splints feel better is doing a cute little hop on point, but that's exactly what we did. my pain through my body first of all i'm like barely hopping i'm just like skating the ground because it was just so painful and then i was just trying to get through it and using my shoulders because i felt like if i use my shoulders <laughs> it would make it looked like I was actually like going somewhere. There is nothing quite like shin splint pain. Poor baby gold, eh? Ugh. Ugh. We made it through. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not too bad. Was it the best? Absolutely not. Did I forget it on stage? No, so I think that is progress. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, Cozy, you wanna say hi? Cozy, you wanna watch me do a coda and on cue? You wanna watch mom? Let's watch. All right, girl. A little arabesque hop hop. That was pretty. Okay, okay. <laughs> I haven't seen this video in so long and those fuentes are just sweet. I was so stressed. I think I did like 16. We're almost done. It's exciting, I know. These were fun. I like doing those. Shanae, Shanae. Ah! He almost dropped me right at the end. He couldn't get my hand and I remembered like feeling like, oh, sh I'm actually like gonna fall into the audience right now. But let's keep going because Cozy's literally biting my fingers off and we're almost done. expecting I don't know what I was expecting but it was probably top three highlights of my ballet career and journey because it was such a special way to finish up my year at the Washington School of Ballet I was so lucky to be able to perform that there's so many gorgeous girls that could have done that pas so beautifully and I don't take that for granted at all baby Goldie Cozy, can you just like calm down for a second? I'm just trying to be a little sentimental here on my YouTube channel. I don't know how sentimental I can get right now because I have a baby that wants my attention and okay, yeah, it might be time to just go. If you like this little reaction video, go make sure to subscribe down below, like this video, and let me know what else you wanna see on my channel. If you want it, I will give it to you. That is how it works around here. And sweet baby Goldie had so much to learn, but she was so grateful at the time and I'm still so grateful. That was so fun. That is it for today's video. And I will see you a little later while I play with my sweet puppy dog that clearly wants my attention. <laughs> bye guys. Cozy, you wanna say bye? Bye. Let's go. You wanna go for a walk?